on Wednesday, the Cincinnati Bengals announced that Cordell Volson would be the starting left guard week one. And I was a huge fan of Cordell Volson in the draft. He is somewhat limited athletically, although he's explosive enough to block in a zone scheme like Cincinnati's. And he was also a really old prospect. I believe he was a sixth year senior. So those were kind of the two knocks on him. But he had the most pancakes on his college tape, probably outside of Trevor Penning and Tyler Smith. So he was definitely an exciting prospect to watch. And I'm excited to see him play in the regular season because I was honestly more impressed with his preseason tape than his college tape. As a run blocker, he showed the dominance that you saw on his North Dakota State film. The biggest thing that he needs to improve on is learning how to take better angles when he's climbing to the second level. That was the main area that I saw him struggle in run blocking over these two games. But I think he should come in and be an immediate positive impact as a run blocker. Pass protection was more of a mixed bag. His play strength and anchor were outstanding. I have no concerns about that. Footwork is the main area I think he's improved on from college, but he still has a ways to go with that. And by far his biggest issue in pass protection is hand placement. Whether you're run blocking or pass blocking, the hands should almost always be inside on the armpit right underneath the shoulder pads, and that allows you to basically just control a defensive lineman like a steering wheel. This was one of Cordell Volson's biggest issues in college, and I noticed it causing a lot of problems for him in the preseason. So first play here, he's going to jump set on this three technique, and with these plays, take note of the hand placement on the initial punch. So the left hand is on the face mask, hard to see exactly where the right hand is. But on top of being a penalty, when your hands are high and outside like this, it's really difficult to establish that grip strength and really anchor down. He does a great job with his feet here, never letting his base get too wide or too narrow and staying relatively square with the pass rusher but he probably wouldn't have needed to recover in that way if he had been accurate with his hands to start out. Right here, this left hand is too high, too far outside, and it's basically wrapped around the back shoulder, and that just gives you no leverage to redirect that force back into the ground. The pass rusher wants to get you high up. They don't want the offensive lineman sitting down in the chair and anchoring down, and so if the initial punch is on top like this, a starting NFL three technique is gonna get right into a rip move or bull rush and drive you back into the pocket. It's more often that Volson is inaccurate with his outside hand, but here you can see that left hand is right under the armpit. The initial punch with the right hand isn't perfect, but he does a good job of replacing that punch. I don't love the footwork here because again, when you're in the regular season and you're going up against guys that have been getting 60 to 70 pressures a year for the last five seasons, when they see an offensive lineman staggering and crossing his feet like this, most of them are gonna be skilled enough to get around that. Here's another one where it's not even that his hands are too far outside. He's just wrapping his outside arm around the guy's shoulder. And so that's just gonna get you holding calls because you have no legal way to resist the pass rusher going right through you. So again, wraps the outside hand around the shoulder. And then if there's a pass rusher with really good bend, he's just gonna flatten this angle right to the quarterback and either get a sack or draw a holding call. And like I said, his inside hand placement is actually pretty solid. There were several plays in the preseason where the inside hand bailed him out. You can see him here redirecting this swim move. So that's why I'm actually optimistic that the hand placement will improve because you see it happening with one hand. It seems like Cordell Volson has improved his footwork significantly from college to now. That was one of my biggest questions with him as a prospect. Right here, he does a great job countering this spin move. Again, the inside hand does a great job with the punch and release and then keeps his feet moving and mirrors the defender. The Giants in particular were running a lot of slants, which is basically when a pass rusher goes through a different gap than the one he's lined up in front of. So on this play, Kayvon Thibodeau is going to pinch inside. Good job multitasking here, the inside hand punch on the three tech, and then flush out the edge defender. He does give up a pressure on this stunt. Good job with the catch hand, but he needs to be a lot more proactive sliding inside and closing off this A gap. Right here, the Cardinals are running a TE stunt, meaning the tackle goes first and then the edge loops inside. Great job again with the footwork to pick this up. He gave up a sack on this play. The Giants are running a nickel blitz. And of all the ways to give up a pressure or a sack, this is probably the most correctable way because it's not like he was trying to block someone and just physically was incapable of doing it. He just needs to keep his eyes up and improve his awareness. 